Hi there, this is Andrea York with Catch the Fire Worship Flags and this is The Weekly, your place for uh, to get worship encouragement, learn what's new from Catch the Fire Worship Flags, and we answer your question. So I am just hopping on, I let the fire catchers know in the group just a moment before that I was going to be going live, so we'll see how many people uh, actually catch us live, but that's okay if you don't because this will be, hey Terry, this will be up on the page so you can see it uh, even later. So this week I just want to talk to you a little bit. Um, we've got, so this in the last seven days, uh, the, the Names of God flag that has sold the most is Lion of Judah. And that tells me one thing is that we need a str our strong savior. We need the Lion of Judah, the one that will, will come to our rescue. And I know from the things that you've been sharing with me and the things that I know that are going on in some of your lives, that we need that. I need that. It's been quite a week and I have, I realize my face is, is in the shadow. I'm sorry about that. But I realized that this week I, I have two funerals to go to. Um, we have all sorts of stuff that's going on and it is, it's been kind of a tough week. And I know that, that from what you've been sharing, you've also been having a tough week. So when it's tough, I worship and I go to scripture. And one of the, my old favorites, it never gets old, never gets old, is Jeremiah 29 11. And I have to pray this over myself and I declare it for you as well. That for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you hope and a future. And it is such a beautiful verse that keeps me going and it never gets old. And I've been reading, who's been doing the Romans challenge with Move the Mountain uh, and Amanda Schenken, uh, Schenkenberger. Uh, I've been really enjoying it. And I was reading yesterday in Romans 5, it says, um, and this hope is not a disappointing fantasy because we now experience the endless love of God cascading into our hearts. So this is our endless, our endless hope. and. Uh, last night I was just looking at my emails and our friends at McLeo Studio, she makes beautiful wall de decals and she has, she had a flash sale of a decal of Jeremiah 29 11. So you can have that on, on your wall and the sale was ending in six hours. So I quickly bought that myself. I'm looking forward to that coming. And then I asked her, hey Abby, would you mind setting up something really special for my fire catchers and would you extend that, that sale? by one more day just for you and she said yes so I'm gonna have some information for you on that page that you save 20% and then if you sign up for her insider you get another 20% so that's 40% off so you can get this beautiful wall decal of Jeremiah 29 11 for I know the plans I have for you says the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you to give you hope in the future that you can put on your wall and look at it every day to remind you of the goodness of God so I'm gonna have the code for you and the link so that you can get that today only today only uh, a couple other things that I want to remind you about um, as you're worshiping as you today or this month still 10% off for the birthday for the birthday um, sale. Also, this is the end of the month for the collection, the Names of God collection. So if you haven't purchased it yet, I think that you probably want to. Um, and I still have the Names of God. I know this is Facebook Live, so it's backwards, but this is the 365 Names of God. I am by John Paul Jackson. This is an incredible ex worship experience. Kim Smith was just saying in the group yesterday how she had been listening to this going to bed and it just soothes over her. Quite honestly, I don't know how you can just listen to this and fall asleep sleep. I listen to this and I feel like I have to get up and worship. It is so powerful. Uh, at last year when Streams Canada was leaving Canada uh, and they were getting rid of their inventory, I picked up every last copy of this knowing that I was going to be doing the Names of God collection and knowing that I wanted to give this to you as a free gift. So there are still a few more. You have to add this to your cart for me to be able to send it along with the Names of God worship flags that you purchase. So that's still available. I have three left, only three. Uh, the other kind of things that I need to talk to you about, Firecatcher's Classroom, Names of God, uh, deep, going deeper in worship. We had it scheduled for this Saturday uh, because 
the week that it's been, I just had to push it back. So we're gonna push that back one more week so that I'm fully prepared for you. And that'll be happening next Saturday. I didn't even write the day, the, the day, sorry. But we'll get that information. The day is gonna be next Saturday, not this Saturday. It starts at nine uh, Pacific Standard Time. So West Coast is nine, East Coast is noon. So wherever you fit in that, that spectrum, just a reminder about Flag Friday that there we gave away to Kim Smith. She was the one who won from last, from June, but we've got a giveaway coming up this month. All you have to do to register or to sign in for the giveaway is to post on the, on the post, comment your a photo uh, or a video of you using Catch the Fire Worship flags or if you don't actually currently own any yet, but you want to, uh, just make sure you comment why you love Catch the Fire Worship flags, and if you could order a flag or purchase a flag, which flag would you want and why, and then hashtag Flag Friday, and you will be counted as in part of the giveaway, which we'll be doing the end of the month. Now, Rebecca Coombs in our Fire Catchers group, and if you're not part of that, I invite you to be to join us. It's a fantastic group of support, encouragement. We have fun. I'm in there a lot. Rosie's in there. You see our quirky personalities. You see, you see us for who we really are, and uh, and you realize that we're really not that suave. So, here, we one of the questions that Rosie actually posed is, "How can we help you?" And so. Rebecca Coombs asked a question and it was a really really great question and I thought you probably have the same question so I wanted to to just explain that quickly uh, her so her question was what is the best flag to flag with slow worship so we've talked a little bit about fast worship and I'll probably bring that up in another weekly but for slow worship when the song is slow, what do you do? Now, swing flags are not an option for slow worship. And a lot of, I would even say that the multiple layers, although easily done, is maybe there's better options for slow. So if you uh, have a slow piece that you're doing a performance and you're doing a slow piece, I actually recommend probably a single layer flag or the, the silk. So I'm just, hang on a second. I'm just going to explain. So with the slow worship, I actually think whether you're individual or you're doing a dance, let me just explain the individual first. So we have a single layer gold uh, metallic right here. So in worship, I, I consider the slow worship when you're doing the sway. So what do you do? You know, if you've been in church and you're just, you're, you're swaying, you, you're enjoying that moment. But if you have these flags, what are you going to be doing? So uh, just a wave offering. Just slowly you're offering a wave offering and that is really slow. You also can just start to just be very, very slow and gentle with your movements. These are figure eights that I'm doing. I'll explain in another video actually some of these moves so you understand them a bit better. But we just do these slow, methodical movements. And the reason that the single layers work better than the triple layers is that it requires less, there's, there's less fabric to get caught up. And so you just want very slow move, move, movement and also the effect of the, the triple layer really is lost if it's not flying around. So. I recommend the single layer worship flags for slow performances. Um, and the other option is again our silk. So this is the El Elyon silk, meaning most high God, available this month still. And with this, this is just so slow and free flowing and you can, you can almost sway with it. And quite honestly, if I'm really lost in worship, I'll just be worshiping like this. I've still got my sway and I've got my flags and I'm lifting it high. So those are two options for the slow worship. So Rebecca, I hope that that answers your questions. If you have questions, I want to answer them in the weekly. Feel free to join us in the fire catchers group. We'll have the link for you to participate there and ask your questions there. I'm going to be pulling a question and we'll be doing it every week. So have a great week. I hope that Lion of Judah, if that's what you want or need from him this, this week, that he is there protecting you and he's leading you. The Lion is leading you with praise. Bless you. Have a great day and the Lord 
just remember the hope. All right? Thanks, guys.